This tutorial shows you how to migrate an Umbraco database from version 8 to version 11. Some prerequisites for this task. You want to make sure you get Visual Studio 2022 installed or equivalent uh, and at least version 17.5. So we get .NET 7 installed, which is required for Umbraco 11. You want to upgrade your version 8 project uh, to the latest on Braco version 8 version, which is 8.18.7. Uh, you then want to use SQL Server Management Studio to create a copy of your version 8 database that we'll use in the migration. And you should be aware that there's no direct path from Umbraco version 8 to Umbraco version 11 as far as the database is concerned. If you try and go directly, you'll get a an installation error. Uh, so what we do is we go from version 8 to version 10, we skip 9 and then we go from version 10 to version 11. So the way we do that is we install Umbraco 10.5.0 and we point it at the version 8 database. Uh, we then install into a new project Umbraco 11.3 Point zero, which is the latest version of it, and point it at the version 8 database, which is now the version 10.5.0 database, and uh, that completes the database migration. The first part of the migration then is to install Umbraco 10.5.0. So we do that with the uh, .NET new install Braco.templates, giving it the version number 10.5.0. We then uh, add that template to a new project via uh, .NET new Umbraco and give it the name of your project directory, in this case Umbraco. We then edit the app settings.json file in that project and we add the connection string to point at the version 8 database and we then edit the file also to mark it for an attended upgrade. We then run the project. And once you run it, you'll be given uh, uh, a localhost URL. If you go there, you'll be presented with a 404 page not found, but you can then go to the slash umbraco URL and uh, you should be able to log into the back office and verify the Umbraco version is 10.5.0. Part two of the upgrade then is to install Umbraco 11. To do that, we need to issue a .NET new install Umbraco.templates to get the latest version of the Umbraco CMS, which is currently 11.3. Uh, we create a new project as before, uh, .NET new Umbraco minus N Umbraco. Uh, we edit the app settings.json, same edit as before, so that we point our version 11 upgrade at the version 8 database, which has now been upgraded to version 10.5.0 and mark it for an attended upgrade. We then run the project. As before, we'll get a local host, a 404 page not found. Uh, we'll be able to go to slash on Braco, log into the back office and verify that uh, Umbraco is at version 11.3.0. Just a couple of things to point out uh, during the two-phase upgrade. For the version 10 project, we can see that uh, it uses .NET 6 and it uses the CMS version 10.5.0. Uh, as mentioned, we point the Umbraco uh, upgrade at our version 8 uh, database. Uh, I've named it Umbraco 11 uh, at the moment. And we also mark it for unattended uh, upgrading. Uh, and FYI, uh, if you're coming from version 8 or 9, uh, you'll see that they've added new static web app sets and configure Umbraco defaults. 
and this has led to some of the uh, directory files being no longer required. So that's uh, uh, version 10 done. We can take a look at uh, version 11. If we, uh, we create a new project, brand new project for that, uh, and if we edit the project file, we can see that's .NET 7. CMS is 11.3. The connection string is the same as before, and we mark it for unattended upgrade. Uh, once we run that uh, with version 10, the database will be upgraded to version 11. And just run that at the moment. And as I said, you when you run the project, uh, it shows page not found, but in the background it's uh, uh, updating the database and then when you go to the back office uh, you can see that the database from a database perspective your content is there your physical files for templates etc and the views uh, are, are not there we haven't migrated them over we've just got the, the database over and if you look uh, at the version of the database, we can see that we managed to get to 11.3.0 and that completes the database migration. Uh, we've now just got to uh, migrate all the code from version 8 to version 11 and I can see here that even my uh, back office uh, sections uh, aren't present. Uh, we need to migrate the, the code and uh, get them uh, working.